Hello fellow developers. Uh, today I want to show you an import functionality that uh, I've created for our game uh, Plane Shift. Uh, this component is available on our Patreon uh, for the lowest tier. And by the way, remember that there, there are other components. So if you get access to the Patreon, you get access also to other Unreal Engine component that I posted. And you can see the videos in the same channel. So uh, this one is about uh, importing objects and importing lights. But this example is about lights, but you can import whatever object you want. And it's a very simple mechanism that I used. So let's create a new project and I will show you what to do. So we will call this project uh, import lights and a blueprint is enough we don't have any c++ so we create a new project at the moment i'm working with 427.2 but the same can work with unreal engine 5 is exactly the same functionality so as soon as you load the project the first thing you need to do you need to switch on the scripting utilities and I will show you how to do it so you just go under edit plugins and you search for scripting and there is this editor scripting utility so you have to enable it otherwise it will not work as expected so this will require a, a restart at the same time uh, on patreon you will get a zip file uh, with the content so you just take this content and you extract it in the new uh, created directory uh, so in the new project so you can just drop it here inside our import light project okay and so now we now we have it and meanwhile the project uh, uh, restarted so with this uh, we have the sample level and I will show you what we have so basically I created um, a file that is here under content import example which is this example lights uh, .csv and if you open it with open office or with excel uh, you will see that he has the light position as a vector the radius as a number as an integer and color as a vector as well right so this is the data that will be that will be loaded uh, if you are loading objects instead of lights, uh, I think you can change the properties here slightly, but you will have the uh, position loaded as well, right? Uh, in the same way. So then when you are here, you can click on any object, um, even your character or whatever, and you can, ask it, you can access the script actions. And with script action, you can just click on, click on create lights, right? And uh, this will basically create in the level, as you can see, you create it now uh, all the lights uh, with the proper uh, with the proper position the proper light color you see that it's not perfectly white but is a uh, more of a pastel color and with the proper attenuation radius as we uh, as we have specified like this one is 1000 the other one was uh, uh, 2500 right now the lights are getting created uh, directly into the main folder um, but and now I deleted them so you see now are gone uh, you can also uh, then move them to another location if needed so you see how fast it is so I click on create light they are created pretty much uh, instantly so you can use the same method um, now I just forgot to tell you that obviously that CSV file needs to be imported into this data table right so if you open the data table and you uh, re-import the file uh, you will get the new the new values right so uh, if I change uh, I don't know this one to 600 and save it again uh, and re-import it now this is 600 and so now when I regenerate my lights uh, you will get that okay so the link to the patreon is in the description with the access to the patreon you also get access to our game which is uh, uh, and fantasy MMO that we are building since uh, quite some time uh, and they would be anyway free to play in the future but at the moment is uh, restricted in uh, Patreon because it's uh, still uh, in alpha okay so thank you and uh, see you in game bye